short answer is I'm very worried that the Scottish executive will follow the coalition and the funding cuts. I do think the Scottish executive are caught between a rock and a hard place, and to a certain extent they've probably exercised their own authority and on cuts, and I think that will be generally across the board, their own authority on cuts in education and, and cuts on pub other parts of public spending as well. I think the cuts, uh, to a certain extent, they're, they all come from a, the agenda of the particular party in power. And the Conservatives, even though it is a coalition, have called quite a lot of the shots on that. Uh, and I think the Conservatives have no remit in Scotland. They have one seat, I think. Um, and therefore, in a sense, it's a little bit arrogant of them to tell the Scots what they should be doing in terms of our own uh, sense of our own government, our own parliament. So I do think there's a big problem there, and uh, uh, John Sweeney's got certainly a huge task ahead. I think it behooves us to try and, you know, get some kind of way of, of, of challenging these things and actually giving alternatives and being a little bit constructive about it. I would actually very much like to see um, within the universities, particularly between staff and students, a kind of uh, a kind of economic groups that can meet and discuss the future and really come up with their own plans. You know, so there, there, there's a there's a sense of self-sufficiency rather than just sit back and go, oh hell horror, what's happening? It's all happening to me. You know, despite. But the problem is is the problem between the executive, the Scottish executive, and what's going on in the south, and clearly as has always been the history of Scotland, there's a different viewpoint. And we have to negotiate that different viewpoint. But I also think that we have to think ahead of it. I think that we really do have to put a plan in action uh, and, a, and a real constructivist view, economic view.